Hello and welcome to this video. We are going to look at editing an existing newsletter template. So a newsletter in this context is an e-newsletter, an email marketing newsletter. So as you can see, I have a very short newsletter here. This was a first draft for a acceptance to a prize draw. So the, the, the letter I had, the template I've already used, was welcoming somebody to a prize draw. So I'm going to change that because the first newsletter I want to send about Forever Living and Aloe Vera products is a introductory newsletter that has to be fantastic, crammed with loads of really good stuff. And it is just about learning as we go. I'm not going to be putting any fancy information into this right now because we really need to just focus on getting something down, getting it looking good visually, and then adding as we go along. And so, I'm going to start at the top. This is the message editor. I will show, I've already showed you in another video how to get to this point. And so these are blocks that you can add, and you can see the symbol of my mouse changes from an arrow into a four-headed arrow. So that means you can drag those functions. We're going to start off with the top piece. Now, I'm in this text box. This is what I'm working on. So I don't want to have that title since that was the template I've already used, the previous one. So I'm going to put, and we increase the font size by clicking on the plus button here and just check it. We could make it bold, but then it takes it off. So let's take the bold off, or make it bold and shrink the text. So we've edited the top box. If we wanted to change the colour, which we're not going to do, then again you click on here, and then you can see here is the background colour option, and you can pick any colour you like. We're going to stay with the same one. Now here is where you can insert a picture or change the picture that's already there. We don't have a picture in this box, so we can't do that right here. Set spacing. Now that and this one are all about the space inside or between other elements. We won't look at that right now. We'll keep it simple. Just make sure you know to change the text, change the size, color of the text. If we've got white here. This is the line height, how tall the lines are. So. You can see we can really spread things out a little bit. We know all these symbols. T, strike through, that's when you cross through something as if you're saying old price, cross through, new price as normal text. We want this in the middle, that's fine. No bullet points for this one. Why was it highlighted? I don't know. Hyperlink? No, not for the title. Do we personalise it? Not yet. Special characters? Not yet. And we've already got the Forever logo here, and we've got a picture here. Now, we are looking at the first email to be full of great tips to look and feel great. So I'm actually going to change this image because we had that one in a previous one, and I'm going to find one that's all about people feeling healthy and vibrant. So. I'm going to see what's in the library, but you should you should probably try and find free images first in the library, or then look at what we've got in our mess um, in our image bank. Now, to remember, we, these functions here are all about the outside, so just hover over them and they'll tell you what's happening. But we want to edit what's inside it, so we click inside, and there's a picture there, and it's as big as it can go. If we drag this this way, it can be smaller, but we don't want that. And you can make an image. You can set the width on mobile devices, so to see it on a mobile phone, you can tell how you want it to be. We are not going to do any of these functions right now. We're just going to change the image by clicking on the image. Now, to look at an image of, I'm going to look at a family. I want to see a healthy family looking and feeling great. Well, to me, this one's brilliant because it's the summer and I think the forever can go further down on the page. So 
this actual whole piece, we want to just click on it once, hover over it, sorry, and then we can look to move it by clicking the top move block. We could put it here. Why not? Great, so we've got a healthy life for you and your family. I'm going to introduce the text, dear, and here's where we personalise, personalising the email. Let's have a look now. Here is a picture of a person for personalisation. Click on it and we want to use their first name. Yeah, here we go. New row. So I'm going to move this one here. I'm going to stop this movie for a minute. 